Yeah, we spoke with several witnesses and they all said they are shaken by what they experienced. But one story that we heard today really highlights just how tragic today was. This was supposed to be an exciting day. We talked to a woman named Naomi Wade. She was out here in front of the Altria Theater selling flowers, selling gifts, teddy bears with her mother for the graduates of Huguenot High School. And she said before the graduation, people were coming up buying those gifts. They were smiling. They were excited to see these graduates cross the stage. Shortly after the graduation, she said people were outside. Some of them had balloons, again, smiling, having a great time. And then she heard at least 20 shots ring out. She said people started screaming and running for their life. They ran toward her tent where she was at. She said that she crowded over her mother to make sure that she would not be trampled. She said both of them were fearing for their life. Now we also heard from someone who had their vehicle struck by a stray bullet and someone who said they may know one of the victims. Take a listen. Yes, everyone literally started running for their lives, trampling each other, trampled me, trampled our whole entire stand, everything, all of our stuff was broken. Mike, check, Mike, check, everyone Mike, was Hello, fleeing, Excuse me. scared. I had to go find the car first, and, and my husband told me it was hit. I come to find out that uh, my nephew's friend's father was one of the victims, so it's just... Definitely shaking everyone up. Definitely shaking everyone up. Absolutely devastating. And as my colleagues, uh, John Burkett and Maggie Marshall said, a nine-year-old was hit by a car in that chaos. They were treated on the scene and then transferred to a hospital. And a lot of witnesses said that they heard people screaming, crying here on the ground, having panic attacks. Definitely a tragic end to a day that was supposed to be happy.